Train Like a Norseman Tuesday here at Luther College. Every Tuesday at Luther, we get together with our wrestlers and do individual training sessions with a coach, working on technical things they need to get closer to being a champion. During this series of Train Like a Norseman Tuesday videos, we're going to give you technical tips to help you become closer to becoming a champion. Today we're going to talk about resting up after we take a shot and a guy blocks down and uh, gets us into a front headlock position. So resting up out of front headlocks. So there's certain positions in wrestling where you got to feel you're in trouble. Where if you stay down there, some bad things are going to happen. You're probably going to get scored on. And, and uh, once you take a shot and a guy gets you in a front headlock, that's one of those positions where we got to get wrestling right away. Don't stay down there very long. Get wrestling right away and coming back up to our feet and getting out. Uh, we had a clinician by the name of Tim Hartung, great wrestler from the University of Minnesota, head coach at YZ of Minnesota now, that came down to one of our camps a few years ago and he talked about front headlock positions as similar to uh, some of the fighting games that you play on, on your uh, video games. And, and I said when you get a guy in a front headlock, it's like you're taking that life bar down in that video game. You know, when you get in some of those fighting games or boxing and you're taking their life bar down. He said in wrestling, that's a front headlock. You get them in front headlock and you're hammering and hammering and hammering. And you might not score the first time, but you're taking the life out of them every time you get to a front headlock. So as a, you know, on the other side of it, if we take a shot and we get down to that front headlock position, we gotta get wrestling out of there right away. Because we stay there, he's gonna be taking our life bar down some. So today we're gonna take a look at that. We've got uh, Dusty Gents here from Platteville, Wisconsin. Uh, helping us out for the front headlock counters. We're going to run through really kind of three things with these front headlock counters. One is getting big and circling towards the front headlock, coming back up to our feet. Always thinking about an offensive attack right afterwards, that's one. Second will be that uh, we're doing that same thing, circling towards it, and he's squaring up to us, and then we're going to knee pound into a shot. And then thirdly, we'll be just dragging out of that front headlock. So let's take a look at those now. So we're getting into position. I take a good shot on Dusty. He blocks down into a front headlock position. Uh, what we want to do in this situation is the first thing is we don't want to stay on both knees. We want to get one knee down on the mat, the other knee is going to be up, one hand is coming off the mat. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach up. It's real important that I reach up, grab this elbow, pull it towards me, and down. Okay, that's exactly the motion we want. So again, it's not just down, and it's not just towards me, it's towards me and down. That releases the pressure off of that front headlock. Look at how my elbow comes to my side as I'm down here as well. So I shoot. I get caught underneath there, reaching up for that tricep, towards me and down, right here. Now, what I'm going to do is start circling towards the side that he has a front headlock on. I'm going to start coming up into a tripod as soon as I get a chance to, circling towards that front headlock, right here. And it's going to be short, choppy steps. Short, choppy steps towards that front headlock as we come around. Once I get the weight off of this hand, I'm going to start reaching up with that hand that was on the mat and start reaching up for his tricep right here as I'm taking short, choppy steps towards him. You guys gonna look like this, take a shot, catch me in the front headlock, towards me and down, get big, start circling towards it, reach up with this opposite hand to his tricep, keep circling, coming down right to a leg snatch, bringing it up in the air. One more time on that. Shooting shot, towards me and down, circle, leg attack if I can get a chance. Short choppy steps, keeping pressure on, leg chance, uh, attack if you get a chance. Sometimes when we do that, our opponent will square up with us. They'll try to, if I'm trying to get an angle on him, and I'm circling towards this leg, he keeps squaring up on us. And there might be an opportunity to hit a knee pound when that happens. So I'm taking a shot, towards me and down, circling up, he's squaring up, and I feel it. There's a separation between his elbow and his body right here. When I feel that, and he's squared up to me, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take an outside step, outside step shot, usually gonna be a high crotch. We call it a knee pound. We call it a knee pound. It's an outside step, and I think of this as having a big spring on the bottom of my knee. So when I take this outside step, my knee is going to hit the mat, and it's immediately going to bounce right back off, and I'm stepping into it. Okay? So think of it as a knee pound. You've got a big spring on the bottom of your knee. It's an outside step, bam, right away up. What you don't want to do here is hit an inside step shot. I don't want to step inside here, come down slow, because remember this guy's got a front headlock, he can neck reach me to my back. So in this position, 
What I want it to look like is this. Outside step, shoot into a high C, coming out right away. Right away. Again, it's right here. Outside step, coming out right away, hips underneath, getting them up in the air. You don't want it to look like this. You don't want it to be an inside step. You want to go here, slow down. Now I can neck wrench me right to my back, and I could be in trouble. So that's why we want it to be a fast shot. Outside step, as soon as that knee hits the mat, coming right back up in the air, hips inside, lifting the front. So what's going to look like here again? Shoot, towards me and down, circling, feel the space, knee pound, right back up in the air. Right back up in the air. Okay, so that's the second thing from there. Third would be when we drag out. We stay down on the mat, we drag out of this one headlock. That's going to be something like this. You shoot it, he's here, got to pull it towards me and down. I'm going to take a big step to the outside, my outside foot. I'm going to reach up, grab his tricep, turn my head, looking forward, and drag him by. Big step, outside foot, drag him by. A lot of guys will bring that outside knee down, inside knee up as you do that drag by. Right here, outside, big outside step, drag him in, that knee comes down, other knee comes up. So some ways to wrestle out of front headlocks this week at Train Like a Norseman Tuesday.